Now I'm welcoming to the stage Amin Shkir from ELA Innovation. Please welcome.
the world bus technology. So uh, to do so, we will use we will take the same product, we will define it as an anchor, as a router, okay, and we will place it like you see here. This is the tunnel. We will place it every 25 meters inside the tunnel. So there is no wire here, and it will be used as a, as a router. Okay. When the uh, the mobile tag come to the inside the tunnel, we will be it will be connected to the all the tags around and all the anchor, and we will create a smart mesh network. So it's very easy to, to use. Uh, all the anchors that, uh, that are static, they will send an inertia side to the, uh, to the tag, to the beacon, to the mobile tag, and the mobile tag will uh, collect all the information from the other tags and router and send to the nearest one, to the gateway. The gateway will send the information to the software called Wirepass Positioning Engine. Uh, this software includes a smart algorithm uh, on it to do the localization of the uh, of the asset, and then of course it can be integrated to any platform uh, as as we are, for example. We will do we, we, we did the same thing for the same uh, thing for uh, for people tracking. So we use also this this product. So it can be fixed on the helmet, for example, or just place it on the pocket. So, but we we have, we, uh, we use more features on the tag for people for people uh, tracking. Uh, let you see here the buzzer on the on the tag. So thanks to the BLE technology and the wirepass technology, we can do the two-way communication. It means that we can send information from the platform to the tag. So remember that it was also for security purpose. So in case of emergency or uh, of emergency, we can send a warning figure to the anchor or to the uh, to the tag. Because we have LED uh, an integrated LED on the beacon and also on the buzzer, so we can prevent workers that there is in this area. For example, there is an emergency that they can they want to leave. So it's also for security purposes. So paper localization and asset location. Security purposes. So what we had as a result: an accuracy of 10 meters, without cable, without nothing, with an anchor each 25 meters. We can go down up to five meters of accuracy if we place anchor every 10 or 15 meters. Smart battery management. This is here we get position every, for, for the mobile the tag. When the, uh, when the tag is moving, we get a position every one minute. Okay? Then, if the, if the tag is motionless, static, we get a position every one hour. So we can configure this in our tags and through also the wire pass position can join the software. With this system, we have, uh, well, we will have an anchor battery life of 20, uh, 12 years, and the battery, uh, the mobile uh, battery life eight years. We add also another uh, for safety purpose, for the safety, for the security purpose also, a specific notification when the tag change, change from the movement state to the still state, meaning that, for, for example, if this tag not moving for, uh, let's say, one hour, two hours, we call it the death state. So we send an alert. We get an alert from the uh, from the software that means this tag is not moving, so we need to check. So it's a very smart smart uh, system. The client benefit is we uh, we decrease their uh, budget by eight because of the uh, we had we have uh, eight years of lifetime battery. We had the same budget, but we can divide by eight years, and this is the, the this is where the budget for one year. We're using the current uh, system. The accuracy between 5 meters and 10 meters, which is very good inside the tunnel of 8 kilometers. Uh, we had also tool and asset inventory because with the positioning in the software, you can have also the, uh, the inventory of each asset and people inside the tunnel. Of course, the quick deployment because we don't have any wire or any installation to do. And of course, we can also do a reporting for each subcontractor because it's a very big company, so you can also have uh, different subcontractors. So you can give them also a report for the for the people working on the uh, on the site. Okay. So. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, it's, it's a beacon. That's a beacon. Yeah. This is one. It's a moving part, or this is fixed on the roof of the Both. tunnel. We use the same one. The same. Pro we use the. We place it on the people on the element, for example, and we define it as mobile tag. Okay. And then we will use the same pro product, but we will define it as an anchor, and we need it as a router, let's say, and we need to place it every 25 meters. Fine. Now, uh, beside location, what another uh, uh, information can we send in addition to location? Yeah, we can uh, all the sensors that we have, temperature, humidity, Speed. movement. Movement, yes, we have the accelerator. Okay, now, we have each 25 or 20 meters, we have an answer. 25, let's say 100 square meters. Yeah. Let's, have, let's say we have a tunnel. Yeah. And we, or any, any path that there is a obstruction uh, covering the sky. So we will have a, a weak GPS signal. Because I have a, a, a certain challenge I'm thinking yeah. I can solve it with your vision. Uh, we installed anchors every 20 meters. Yeah. And there is a beacon moving. And if you want to detect the location, there is there has to be a smart algorithm depending on power of signal, where is the exact location of that vehicle? Well, we have the accuracy of the five meters for this system. And when the, when the, uh, the tag is moving, it will collect all the information from other tags and the anchor and the standard. And then we will have, we can have the information every one minute. Is that yeah, yeah, okay. Can we reduce the one minute? Yes, we can, but the battery should the battery will take Fine. a okay. supply of amount or Okay, then we go back to the challenge of uh, detecting the, the right speed. Yeah. And speed is the, if it's not connected to the canvas, you can carry it for the The tracking device it yeah. has to be via interpolation. Yeah. And uh, can we solve this issue? And can we get speed based on anchors and beacon? Well, we have to have a movement sensor that is accelerometer inside. So I would like to say yes. Okay, we'll but talk on this, about, uh, so, and but and we, uh, for the sensor, we will release the temperature uh, and humidity next month, and for the move movement sensor, which will be uh, released next two months. So it's still in development, okay. but it will be an accelerometer inside. So uh, our CEO will be here on Wednesday. <coughs> next Wednesday, so you can speak with him directly. He's in charge of this. Uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. But you can, yeah, you can measure uh, the okay. movement on three axes and also on an angle. So, okay. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, the uh, doctor says yes. Hi, Guri, and the Shirin Bob. Thank you, great presentation. Uh, I have got two questions actually. One, can we use this for uh, passenger binding to a bus? Or passengers, passengers binding to a bus. Let's say I have a passenger uh, coming into a bus. So, uh, if I got uh, a beacon for every passenger, yeah. would they be able to identify whether this passenger is still in the bus or he left that station yeah. and, and so on? Yes. So, we will, we will not use the wire pass technology here. Because remember, for wire pass technology, we need to, to have static anchor. So, we use. We you don't, don't need a mesh here. Yeah, you don't need a mesh. Just be, every bus will, will have a radar. We have, have a GPS. It can be, for example, of uh, Telefonica, for example, or the Sky or a truck, and then it will collect the information directly from the beacon and send it to your platform. Okay. Uh, or, uh, yeah, we have, we have uh, for people, you have a small car like that or something. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, the smaller side. Yes, we have. Uh, the second part is regarding the 100 meter coverage. Can this be reduced? 100 meters. I mean, like, uh, you mentioned that uh, one beacon can cover 100 meter coverage. Oh. Or square meter, I guess. Uh, here, the anchor we need to test every 25 meters, or if you, have, if you have a warehouse, for example, we need to test every 100 or 125 square meters. Okay, but this is to have you an idea about the number of tags of anchor that you need in your warehouse. My guess is like if I have three, four buses next to each other, yeah, would this overlap, or we can have a sort of uh, uh, we can have a sort of control over. So but where will place the anchor? I, I have three buses or four buses. Every bus has a, a, a reader, which yeah. is the back one. Yeah. So I do have passenger A in bus one. Yes. Uh, he wouldn't be binding to bus two because of proximity. 
if this works. Yeah, but since this is a software uh, development, that, be, that you mean that if a, if a tag is read written by reader number one and reader number two, so we will eliminate eliminate reader number two. Exactly, it comes to the same software part because when, uh, yeah, when you put them every twenty five meters, because I assume the range is like twenty five meters. Yeah, but okay. can this be reduced? Yeah, maybe I, I don't explain well. The 25 bits is for the mesh network. You're, what you're saying is just you need to read the tag by reader. So forget about the mesh network. Okay, so we need normal GPS with Bluetooth, for example, or 3G or, uh, or uh, BLD router, and then only one tag to be read. Okay? Our tags can go up to 500 meters in open fields. Inside the building, it can go between 40 and 80. Okay? So what you said, if they, you have different buses that near to each other and the reader, so also, so we need to, uh, you need, because we are a hardware manufacturer, in your software, uh, make the, the notification that if the tag is read by number one, and number two, we need to eliminate number two. So that's it. this is how it's done. But you cannot, if, you cannot reduce the, uh, the, uh, the distance between the reader and the reader. We can do it with active verified ID. But it's not a it's not a technology. And it's very you know, we have it. We can reduce the uh, the surface of reading the area from one meter to twenty meters with active verified heat. and you can go up to one hundred. But it's not a solution. Can either can explain to you after. So okay. how how accurate is it in indoor uh, indoor parking if we are doing indoor park parking? How accurate is it going to be? The appearance of the localization. Yeah, exactly. it can go uh, up to five meters. We do have another solution, which is Pupa, we present it tomorrow, and you can go up to 10 centimeters of accuracy. Yeah, and we did it, yes. It's a, it measures the angle of variable of the signal. We did it for saffron uh, 